Hi, I'm Laura Gonzalez. I'm a French interior designer. Here we are in Paris. This is my aperitif party playbook, so come to join me. I think aperitif is very French and it's a really, uh, for me, an art de vivre. I like the idea it's just a before dinner and sometimes eat the dinner. So sometimes it's a lot of dishes on the table, beautiful display, and we just add good wine for sure, but also sometimes to have a very elegant and classic uh, cocktail. Rule number one, the perfect social mix. I think the most funny is mixing generation. I like to invite my mom, the mom of my friends. I like to mix with uh, uh, the children of my friends now. I love to have my kids around. If sometimes you can have people coming from all over the world, speaking different language. This brings a lot and this brings the nights different from the beginning. Rule number two, the perfect time. I think because I'm French and I French and Spanish and because maybe I work a lot, it's always late aperitif. It's never six o'clock like English. I always invite people at nine. I like the fact that I can go home, I can relax five minutes and after install a nice table and wait for the guests. First thing I give to my guests when they arrive, it's a glass of champagne or a glass of wine just before we hit because this is get you in the mood and put you more comfortable. Rule number three, the perfect spread. First, one thing I love, it's not to take everything out from the table. I love to keep objects. So I love to keep my books. I, I like to put things on the books. I like to have ceramics, candles, vase, everything mixed and sometimes a little decorative object to bring life on the table. Second, about the food, of course, I really like to have fresh aperitif. So I like to have very nice Italian olives, a good hummus. Uh, I love always to have very fresh vegetables. For example, it's a good idea to slice a big uh, black radish with a little piece of salt on the side. It's very fresh in your mouth with the cocktail. I love to have always a good cheese like this one. It's a, it's a good goat cheese and I put some fresh thyme on the side. Uh, so I really like this kind of ambience, very fresh, and maybe sometimes I can bring some hot dishes after, but to begin, it's the perfect spread. I like simple things, like a nice glass of champagne or wine, but if I need to choose two best cocktails for me, it will be, of course, a Negroni, because I like a sour thing. And I love this cocktail, which is a Saint-Germain Spritz, because it's just a normal champagne glass with a twist of sweetness, but it's very, elegant and very soft, and I like this mix. Rule number four, the perfect end. I really like its unconventional settings. I like people to sit all around. I like to take pieces of furniture all around the house and put it around the coffee table. For example, I take the Maui chair of the dining table. I, I love to have big pillows to throw on the floor. I like to have my Babylon stool, a big saw armchair. We have also the tray that is plugged to the armchair that what you can put your cocktail and it's perfect because you are not risking anything. I think the more people you are and the more close to each other you are, the best party you will have. Of course, after, the most important is the light and the ambience. So I always put candles everywhere in the room. I like to have a good incense or sage to have a nice smell and also to have this kind of smoky vibe. Uh, and of course, the music. So for this, I have my special guest. Is my husband is the master of playlists and he's always doing some playlists for each moment of the year, for each vibe we are in. So he has always a perfect music for the night. Rule number five, perfection is overrated. Of course, sometimes you have the time to make it perfectly. Sometimes you arrive five minutes before your guest and you need to be in a rush. So just if you have always a mix and max of nice dishes and you bring your soul to the place and you turn off the light and everything will be fine.